Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. Jehovah will bless your name for another opportunity to learn at your feet and for making us to see the light of another glorious day and the beginning of another week and the second Sunday in the month of July precisely. We say thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. As we go into your word, Holy Spirit, open our understanding to your word. Glorify yourself and give us testimonies. Let your word illuminate the darkness of our life. And let that darkness vanish. Thank you, Jehovah God. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. And amen in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. Amen. Beloved, today is the second Sunday in this very month. And by the grace of God, we will be speaking on a very crucial topic, which will enhance us to know better about God's plan for our life and that will enhance or speed up our prayer answers. And I pray by the end of this series, of this message, there shall be testimony for us in Jesus' name. Amen. So I will read from the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse number 6. Philippians 4, verse number 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Colossians 4.2 Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. Colossians 4.2 We'll be going on the series for the next few weeks in this very month on what I talked, addicted to thanksgiving and praises. Addicted to thanksgiving and praises. Beloved, ignorance is not an excuse. When the law of life is broken, Man becomes a victim of death. Bible says in Osea chapter 4 verse 6, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Many Christians are granted today because they have taken God for granted. Why? Anyone you show favor to and do not appreciate it, is not qualified for the next one. People refuse to know what they need to know. The word thank you qualifies you for the next act of favor. Anyone you show favor to and does not know how to respond positively, you are constrained to do another one. Great times have turned to gloomy days because Christians do not acknowledge the source of the great times. Thanksgiving, I repeat, thanksgiving must be an addiction. It makes destiny open on its own accord. It's a good thing to give thanks according to the scriptures. Because it will envelope you with God. It will envelope you in His presence. It will cover you with God's presence. He is always around those who praise Him. God of heaven, of the whole universe, is always around those who praise Him. Psalm 22 verse 3. But thou art holy. O thou that inhabited the praise of Israel, God inhabited the praise of his people. God dwell in praise of his people. If you have taken note from inception of this, our prayer online service, we start 
with praises and thanksgiving. We start with praises and thanksgiving because it is a spiritual catalyst that enhances immediate response to our prayers. Thanksgiving, I repeat, must be an addiction. It must be an addiction. No little wonder the scriptures which cannot be broken says, If God be for us, who can be against us? According to Romans 8.31 Because you need God's presence to succeed in the race of life. Thanksgiving qualifies you for God's presence. Beloved, nothing is more valuable than His presence. Divine presence makes all the difference you need in your life. When God goes with you, everything goes great for you. When you praise God, you attract Him. When you attract Him, Everything goes attractive with you. I repeat, when God goes with you, everything goes great for you. When you praise God, you attract Him. When you attract Him, everything goes attractive with you. Not this, that your gratitude or your degree of gratitude determines the greatness of your journey in life. Gratitude determines your ultimate altitude in life. The more grateful you are, the more colorful your destiny becomes. Thanksgiving is a vital platform for eruption of miracles. I said Thanksgiving is a vital platform for eruption of miracles. Nothing goes down in the hand of a Thanksgiver. If you are a Thanksgiver, nothing goes down in your hands. And if there's anything going down in your hands as at present, I decree by the decree of heaven, as you inhabit or as you put on the garment of praise and become a thanksgiving addicted person, nothing will go down in your hand anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus, if God's hands must not stop and the miracle cease, thanksgiving is a force you must apply. If you read through the book of John, chapter 5, going through 11, it brings back life, whatever is dead in your life. When Jesus got to the tomb of Lazarus, who has been dead for good four days, Jesus says, Father, I thank you because you hear me. You always hear me and you will hear me. So in the midst of tribulations and trials, remain addicted to thanksgiving. It will erupt miracles. God's hands will not stop and miracles can never cease if you are addicted to thanksgiving. It is not to be done because you are told to. But you must know why and must be addicted to it. When I say to be addicted to it, I remember the story of a man I worked with years back. This man is an addicted smoker. When I moved closer to him and I was trying to tell him about Jesus, because when he goes for shopping, he comes with a bag full of cigarettes, not packet, bag full of cigarette. He cannot do without cigarette. So when I was telling him, he was telling me, hear me, hear me, because the man came from Lebanon. He said, I'm, I, I, don't, I no longer smoke. He said, I've even reduced my smoking. I said, what? With what I am seeing? He said, he has been smoking right from his teenage age. 
Beloved, this man cannot do without smoking. If he boards a flight and they are telling him, which is normal, no smoking inside this flight is like heaven one to fall. Within the short time he will spend in the craft, aircraft, to him is as if the world is coming to an end. That is to an addicted smoker. You must be addicted to thanksgiving. Let every blessed day of your life be full with thanksgiving. Let God inhabit your praise. Let his name be glorified through you every blessed day of your life. Nothing grows in your hand without thanksgiving because it is a spiritual fertilizer. Let thy people praise thee, O Lord. Nothing rises without your thanksgiving and praises. I speak to your life this very morning that no one under the sound of the voice of the Almighty through me will be granted anymore in the name of Jesus. The grace not to take God for granted again regarding thanksgiving and praises Receive it in the name of Jesus. If you cannot see what he has done, you are not qualified for his next miracle. God does everything, every day. Read Psalm 150. Your greatest miracle is the miracle that you slept and you wake up. Psalm 3 verse 5 says, I lay down and slept. I awake. For the Lord sustained me. Your being alive is not by chance, beloved. But God kept you alive. He is worthy of your thanksgiving. It's a debt to pay day in, day out. We need to be King David of our time. Who praise God. Even when... He knows he has wronged God. Don't run from God even when you sin against him. Run back to that same God. David praised his way into God's heart. Even in trials and tribulation time, Paul and Silas, they were addicted to praises. If you are addicted to praises, beloved, it will break the iron gates and cut off the brass of chain. God is worthy of all thanks and praises. Nothing goes empty when your tank is full of praises. Beloved, beloved, God overreacts when you share his glory, praises, and thanksgiving with him. You can ask Nebuchadnezzar. He said, his hands built this kingdom. God made him to crawl with that same hand. Ask Herod. One ate him up immediately. If for no other reason, beloved, at least for the gift of life, your mates are gone. Those younger than you, they are gone. Those older than you, they are gone. I can't remember countless people that have died on daily basis or those we have walked together before, journeyed together, eat, dine, and wine together. You have testimonies of people you know that slept and could not wake up the following day. Beloved, praise him for who he is. Thank him for what he has done. Do have a deep breath and think back from credo till moment. Be thoughtful that you may be addicted to thanksgiving and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.